Number 10. Switzerland With mountainous terrain, a strong tradition of neutrality, widespread bunkers, and a heavily armed populace, Switzerland has undoubtedly proven itself as a safe haven during Europe's bloody past. While Switzerland shares borders with Germany, France, and Italy, which are all locations where nukes undoubtedly will be landing if World War III were to break out, Switzerland is somewhat shielded from these danger zones thanks to the mountains surrounding Switzerland. This means that the Swiss could take cover up high in the mountains as nukes land all around them. Number 9. Tuvalu Tuvalu is an island nation deep within the Pacific Ocean that is very remote and neutral. Tuvalu's extreme isolation helps the nation remain politically not aligned and its small population and negligible resources means no major power will have any reason to attack Tuvalu. Tuvalu will probably just be ignored if World War III was to start. And, unlike many other island nations, Tuvalu's locals produce and consume mainly their own food and goods, making Tuvalu uniquely self-sufficient. Number 8. New Zealand New Zealand is one of the most secluded yet developed nations in the world. New Zealand has a stable democracy and is not deeply involved in any armed conflicts. And the mountainous terrain of New Zealand can provide shelter in the unlikely event trouble were to ever visit the New Zealand Islands. New Zealand also has enough local food supplies as well as clean water and fertile soil to support itself in the short term. And New Zealand's peaceful foreign policy gained it the fourth spot on the 2015 Global Peace Index. Number 7. Bhutan Despite Bhutan's shared borders with two potential combatants of a third world war, China and India, its unique location makes it an excellent shelter for an apocalyptic conflict. Surrounded by the Himalayan mountains, Bhutan is one of the most secluded landlocked countries in the world. And since joining the United Nations in 1971, the country has maintained a Swiss-like aversion to foreign entanglements of any kind. Bhutan also has no diplomatic relationships with the United States. In fact, only two states, Bangladesh and neighboring India, even have embassies in Bhutan's capital. Number 6. Chile Chile is one of South America's most stable and prosperous nations, and Chile ranks higher than all other Latin American nations in human development. It is also shielded by the nearly impenetrable Andes Mountains to the west of its borders. To top that off, the Southern Hemisphere tends to have less polluted air than the Northern Hemisphere because it has less cities, less population, and less industry. And the air masses of the Northern and Southern Hemispheres tend to stay segregated from each other. Combine this with Chile's air being continually replenished by clean Antarctic air, Chile may stay cleaner than the war-torn nations to its north in the event of a Third World War. Number 5. Iceland Iceland is a country so peaceful and neutral that it was ranked number one in the 2015 Global Peace Index. Iceland also shares no land borders with any other nations and is far removed from most of the world. If nukes were to fall around the world, it's possible Iceland may be left alone during the initial conflict. And even in a worst case scenario, Iceland has mountainous terrain to take shelter in. Number 4. Denmark it is likely that if any conflict were to spread across Europe, Denmark would suffer greatly because of its involvement in NATO as well as their dangerous proximity to major nations of the European Union. However, this is not entirely true thanks to one crucial exception, Greenland. Just like Iceland, Greenland is remote, mountainous, and politically non-aligned, meaning the population of Greenland will be able to take cover and will have an easier time trying to survive a third world war. Number 3. Malta Malta is a tiny island nation in the Mediterranean Ocean and is in essence a small island fortress. Throughout history, from Malta's days as a crusader state to even the Second World War, empires have tried and failed to capture Malta, meaning that an invasion of Malta would be extremely costly. And finally, Malta's relatively small size wouldn't justify wasting an entire nuclear missile on it, meaning Malta may just be ignored by the biggest combatants of a Third World War. Number 2. Ireland While Ireland is a prosperous and developed nation, it does not have strong ties to any of the potential combatants of a Third World War. Ireland tends towards a policy of independence in foreign policy, 
As a result, Ireland is not a member of NATO and has a long-standing policy of military neutrality. And according to Irish law, in order for Ireland to enter any external military conflicts, their involvement must be approved by the UN, Ireland's government, as well as the Irish legislature. Number 1. Fiji The remote island nation of Fiji lies deep within the vast expanses of the Pacific Ocean, which isolates Fiji from any potential invaders. And just like Tuvalu, Fiji has a small population, is neutral in foreign affairs, and does not have any resources within its borders to justify an invasion of the islands. To top that off, for thousands of years the Fiji Islands supported human settlements, and could likely continue to support human life after a worldwide conflict. If you want to survive a nuclear winter, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. That's not entirely true, but you should go ahead and do it anyway, just to be safe. And if you want to hear my voice some more, you can go check out my channel in the description. And we'll see you all next time.